Starting at four, a controversial law about crime blocked by an Illinois judge. Now the Safety Act only applies to some Illinois counties. CBS 2 Sabrina Franza breaks it all down. Well, this statute, it's long, it's confusing, and it's controversial. In it, our experts say crimes fall into two categories, detainable and non-detainable. And with this latest lawsuit, now it's also a question of where the arrests happen. Because come January 1st, some counties will follow the old set of rules and others will follow the Safety Act rules. Let's start with a crime, say robbery, stolen mail. Pre-Safety Act, the process is simple. Arrest, charge, see a judge, judge sets bail or no bail. Post-Safety Act, the process changes. The state's attorney is the one who has to file the petition before the judge. The judge has no say. Our experts say the law deems some crimes non-detainable like stealing those packages or other class A, B, C misdemeanors. The person that gets caught gets a summons to appear before a judge later. In Cook, if uh, Kim Fox doesn't allow a petition to be filed, then the judge is going to have to release him. What is detainable has to meet a list of standards. Prosecutors have to prove that a defendant poses a risk to the safety of a specific person or persons and or as a high risk of fleeing before trial. They have to petition to keep that person in jail, which many say takes the power out of the hands of the presiding judge and puts the pressure on the victims. A forcible felonies is limited to certain offenses. Murder. Now intro this latest lawsuit. Kankakee County Chief Judge Thomas Cunnington ruled some parts of the Safety Act unconstitutional. It keeps things like having all law enforcement wear body worn cameras by 2025, also mentioned in the act, but stops new bail reform in its tracks. So long as you live in one of the 54 counties mentioned in that suit. So if that package thief is arrested in Kankakee, they follow that old set of rules in Cook, Lake, DuPage and Kane counties. That's in our area. The Safety Act applies. Experts say expecting prosecutors to provide state evidence state that you'd see at a trial priest, before the actual the trial. Witnesses have to <laughs> be interviewed. Uh, police reports have to be written. And so the day after somebody gets arrested, there's a lot of data that uh, hasn't been uh, uh, collected. All of this could change if that same judge issues an injunction before January 1st. That could mean the ruling would apply statewide. The Safety Act would not go into effect in the new year and would likely go before the Illinois Supreme Court to review. In the newsroom, Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. All right, Sabrina, thank you.